Ratiaria. You're surprisingly happy. Give me that money. Pella. More money. Uh, yeah. Lots of money. By Lazora. You can probably sustain a very high tax rate anyway, even once this guy croaks. You should be okay. This is how we make money. Uh, Thessalonica, no. Not really. Of course, we're going to have a deficit in a lot of larger ta uh, settlements because of the uh, the way the paying of your army works. Because it's based on how much population each place has, which is why some of these small settlements are making so much money. As they grow bigger, they'll make less money. And yeah, you get the idea. Uh, Philippi. No, no, I don't need you to be particular particularly populated. Chalkida. Nah. Ooh, hang on. No, you're really, really close to popping another uh, settlement size, so yeah, stay doing that for a little bit. Corrales, gimme. Yeah, I don't need you to become any bigger than that. And Genoa. Nah, you're probably just losing money because that Carthaginian army is standing there, not because you're not uh, profitable. Illyria, gimme. You're already on very high. I think we're back at where we started. Yes. Okay, good. Good, good, good. This makes me happy. Uh, can you... Yes, you can. Alright, get over here. Assume command of your army. Soon, you will march to war. For the Republic. We are the most advanced faction. Hooray! And at the end of turn, we lost a lot of money. But that's okay. We were doing extensive building programs for the good of the Republic. That Thrace is worrying me a little bit. <laughs> I'll be honest, they're a little concerning. You. You, you, you. Hmm. You need to go... Down here, yes, but... Because of the house rule, you can't attack yet. Because it is indeed winter. So stay there. And you need to get in there. We actually need some more troops, really. So build me another two units for Stardy here. And can anywhere else build them? Or build something good. Macedonian slingers, they're good, but they're not what I need. So give me those instead. And I will give you these. Congratulations. Okay. So, should be Sparta's surrender this turn, I imagine these guys are going to attack us. Where is... Aha! Fleet! We need to rid the seas of these bastards. Kill them. Clear victory? I like it. If they don't have any boats to sail, they cannot send armies to kill us. And I'm not making the same mistake I made last time, which was abandoning their navies to do whatever they wanted, because I assumed that they were not a threat, when indeed they were, and that army didn't move, so somebody else obviously brought that army across. Did they perhaps have someone at Rhodes? I do want to take Rhodes, but I want to take uh, Crete first, so if we can wipe these guys off the map, that would be fantastic. Um, you know what, you two units combine, I'd rather have full strength units. Combine and... okay, that'll have to do. So we've got two, three, five regular Roman infantry. You are useless. I cannot disband you because you are part of a siege force. Now I can. Disband. Uh, ooh, good, good, good. Uh, I will grab the full unit because they are more useful and I will give you the unit of Pezoi to compensate. Can you get any good mercenaries? Some Cretan archers. You've already got three units, you don't need another one. You'll be okay, Mr. Sabinus. Okay. Now I'm really, really, really wary of uh, the game deciding, nope, you're not continuing. In which case I would be very, very disappointed because I'm actually loving the way this Let's Play is going. It's cool, it's fun. 
Uh, I'm wondering whether or not I should launch an assault on this fella. What's he got? Looks like the same sort of armies we faced last time. At your service. Watch what can you tell me about waiting. it? Okay, well, about this fellow, he's not very good at fighting. But he does give a morale bonus. And he sees a long way. He likes drinking. He has no enemies. He's positive. Okay. So he's pretty much great at inspiring his soldiers. So they'll stand longer. But what has he got? Ooh. He's got elephants. Damn. Hmm. You know... I'm just going to stay where we are and hope that Zelmolxis doesn't decide to join the party. Because if we can just stay on this bridge and do the same thing we did last time, that'd be great. Damn. I'm glad we've got our own elephants then. But he's got archer elephants. We've only got regular elephants. Well, we do have other elephants, but they're not here right now. They couldn't be here for this one. You need to sink this bastard, can you? Hell yes. Good job. Nicely done. Alright, get over there. Okay, so we have a third army preparing to come our way. How long until it's ready? One turn. That means I need you to sail to Roma. And then hopefully next turn you'll be able to pick up that army that's being produced, bring them down here. I need you... Hmm. He can split our forces, but I think either of these armies could defeat him one-on-one, -on -one, I think. So I guess we'll have to see what they do. So let's see. What say you, Carthage? Okay. That's not Carthage, that's Sparta. Oh, okay, so you brought in these fellas. These were the leftovers, weren't they? I think so. You grab those other Cretan archers. Well, that's okay. Most of this probably won't stand. So, let us fight. Let us do battle. And victory to the man who deserves it most. Which is obviously me, because I'm the player. I'm the let's player. And that means I get to win. Also, because the AI is incredibly stupid. Right, they're sallying in this one. I forgot about that. That's cheating. Um, okay. Prank pays, and all but one of my units of infantry. I need you to turn and face this way. You guys, I need to be on fire at will. And to stand. Yes, here. And with you, we'll. Oh, you're already there. Excellent. Uh, you guys need to run. You guys need to run. Actually, you know what? You guys might as well all just be one group. So I need you guys to stand like this. Hopefully we'll be able to shoot down the guys who are coming out of the city. If we're lucky, it'll go down really nicely and easily. If we're unlucky, well, it won't. Themselves. I guess, let's just uh, see how we do. Anytime you want to move, Libyan Cav. Anytime. Come here. God. Some people just don't think they're in an army. It's like, yeah, I do what I want. I do what I want. It's not the way it works, guys. Please don't kill any of our own cavalry with friendly fire, because that would be most decidedly unpleasant. Thank you. Oh, 
I... Oh, hang on. No, you are killing some of them. Nice. If you can just kill the general, that would be swell. Damn. Come on. He's got one guy left. There he is. Yeah, yeah. You have fun charging, buddy. Okay. We'll just let the Hastati take him out. This ought to be good. I want to see this. <laughs> uh, charge of the Light Brigade, huh? A sploosh. Really? He's got balls. The gods be praised! The enemy general is dead! His men know their doom approaches! As they should. Alright. That should be Skirmish Cav. Yeah, it is. Please kill it. Hmm. I'm leaving us a little bit open on this side. To them attacking and overwhelming us. But I'm hoping by killing off these bastards be able to not have to worry about them. Well, obviously we won't have to worry about them. They'll be dead. But worry about them less. Because uh, skirmish cav are notoriously difficult to take out if you don't have cavalry skirmishes of your own. Because they can outrun you, the bastards. Alright. Turn around. Get ready to help out. Uh, you guys, I want over here, actually. These guys in range, they are in range. That is fantastic. Okay, I'm going to need this cavalry over here, I think. Or at least over this way-ish. If we can get round behind them, that would be fantastic. If not, well, we'll deal with that when we come to it. Defeat is a distinct possibility. Yes. Yes, it is. How astute. Okay, our guys are getting hit by our own missile fire. That's not the way I would have wanted it to go down. But what can you do? Okay, now they're not. Yeah. Well, this is never going to go particularly well. Get over here. Alright, cavalrymen. Get up here. We need to take out those Cretan archers. Preferably before they kill off all of ours. That would be great. Please kill them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that did not go well. Can't imagine why. Alright. Charge. You guys need to get up there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, get in there. You guys need to get up this way. Wow. <laughs> They're just like sort of trying to go around us. It's not working out so well for them, funny enough. There we go. Please tell me we've got the skirmish cav. No. No, they're still chilling. But we did get the Cretan archers, and that's important. So I'm okay with it. Would have liked to get everybody, but you can't always get what you want. Unfortunately. You know, the idea was to pursue them. No, just a thought. And once they come into range, I'm going to focus fire on these sons of bitches. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Just just casually making it through the lines. We need to kill these guys. They get inside that city. We're fucked. Go. Please kill. Are you kidding me? Come on. 
fine. Chase them. Go, 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 go. Come on, chase. Actually, better idea for chasing would be you. At least we can kill all these bastards. Wow. Gods be praised. The enemy general is killed. That was convenient. Fear Back before the oil decides that it's coming hearts. down. We might be able to simply kill all these guys quick enough that we don't have to attack the town center. If we run up here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You need to charge. You need to charge. You charge. We can kill all these sons of bitches before they get anyone back to the town square. Be okay. Ah! The victory! Rome demands victory from her general. I should have continued and that. Day is and killed the rest of these guys, but that's okay. I'm not sure what it would have done if there were some enemies inside the city, but they were running victory! away. However, it killed everyone, so exterminate. Okay, good. We made it through a turn. Good, 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 good. That makes me awfully happy. And we made a bit of money off it, too. Let's have a look. Agent detected the Thracians. Those bastards. Resistance is futile in Sparta, but we welcome you to the greater commonwealth of the Roman Republic. First, you need a phase one auxilia. And you, gentlemen, we could wipe you out. We should, because that would be sensible. You guys need to combine. You need to combine. Much better. Hmm. Got some more recruits, which is always good. Got some Hastati. I'm going to... Hmm. Well, first of all, I'm going to steal this unit. I'm going to steal you and you. Definitely you. You. All of you guys. Uh, except, actually, you. You can stay. You hundred Testati. Let's see. Okay, Sparta still loves us. So... Any good mercenaries to hire? Yes, some Thracians. And some Gallic Swordsmen. Perfect. Gallic Swordsmen, get in there. Uh, hmm. Other unit of Gallic Swordsmen, also get in there. You gentlemen, are going to attack this fellow in a minute. But before we do that, you are attacking here. Attack! Yes, you don't have an army, do you? No. Okay, I was a little bit worried. <laughs> Stranger things have come to bite me on the ass before. Okay, you guys are all good. Bit depleted, but all good. Mostly. Mostly. Okay, Herius Sabinus, you're going to have to come join Longus. We're going to need some help to take out this, uh, this city and the force behind it. Herennius Fabius Maximus. Really? Who are you? You take after your father. You've got a firm personal morality. You're good. You're very, very good. Except for the whole weak chin thing. But apart from that, you are fantastic. And we've got a new daughter. Manius Fabius Maximus. No! You died. He was in a retium. Oh, different person. Okay, well you can take over. Learn, learn your trade there. Really? Why can you not move? Oh way. Oh, I thought they could. Oh, that's right. We at last have finished combining the army. I believe the idea was, if I remember correctly, to get skirmishes from uh, 
hiring mercenaries instead. I think I might send him over towards the Balearics. Who are you? You have units on you. You've got Spanish units. Those are good. Ready to sail. That is worrying. Wait, you left your whole army in command of a captain? Really? What did you grab? Maybe they didn't get another unit. That presents an interesting opportunity. I think we're going to have to take it up. We're going to have to attack this guy before these guys can come help. Oh, you can't. If you were with Zalmoxis, you could, but you can't by yourself. Juba, Loki, you could come help out. You worry me a little bit. Come on, Numidians, we're trying to help you out here, guys. Have some balls and help us out. <laughs> Okay, go, kill. Get rid of that. Thank you very much. You're going to have to head back towards Syracuse before you become combat ineffective. You also have... Hang on, wait. Are you the same... You might be the same unit. That would be unfortunate. We can't go get them for another turn anyway. Come here. Die. Blub, 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 blub. <laughs> Much better. Alright, go. Go back there. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I need you to start building me more boats. Just a couple. You need to go back to Lilybaum. Actually, hang on. It's not Lilybaum that can build them, is it? No. No, you'll have to return to Syracuse. Damn. How long will it take you to get there? Okay, only only two more turns. Okay. Hmm. Well. Captain Bodmelcourt. Bill Bodmelcart? I don't know. He's got some heavy duty siege equipment. He's got two units of scorpions and a unit of towered African elephants. Those are a worry. Those African elephants are a worry. But we have our own. And we've got a fairly strong infantry force when you look at it. Got some tarpeting troops to hopefully catch the elephants. I want to attack him. We're safe from that guy. We're not safe from this guy. And knowing our luck, it would make us fight all three of the enemy armies. I'm including this one, by the way. All three of the enemy armies together. Instead of separate. And if uh, Augustus Ormilius came in... Augustus Emilius, if he came into it, he wouldn't actually be all that much help because he'd be delayed. That's just how I imagine it would go down. I speak from experience of this game fucking me over. Um, okay. Well, it would be within our best interests to move and attack Bodmilcar. Or Bodmilcart? Milkcart. That's what I'm calling him from now on. Milkcart. It would be without... An in our interest to attack him, and then attack him at night. If you've got Night Fighter, you do, don't you? I'm fairly certain. Yes, you have Night Fighter. So it would be within our interest to attack him with Night Fighter, so this guy couldn't come help him, slaughter him, then come kill this bastard, because he's got some good troops. Poini Citizen Infantry are very, very good. They're a lot better than the Libyans. They will stand a lot longer. The Libby Phoenicians are good, but these fellas, they're better. They're like, uh, they're not quite the backbone, really, but they are stronger. In stats. In history, not so much, but in stats, they are stronger. You separated from your army, though. Why? Why? What possible motive? 
would you have for doing that? There's not another army for you to take over. Is there even anyone in there? Yeah, there's people in Hippo Regius, but... This is puzzling. This is very puzzling. Hmm. Well, at risk of boring you, <laughs> after checking these things, uh, we'll, we'll order up instruct. Kind of bleh. We'll order up construction, not instruction. Although I suppose we would be doing a little bit of that too with our uh, our movement of family members. And then I will take a break because I want to have a look at the map and see if there's maybe just something I'm missing. And I'm sure you guys don't really want to sit through that because it could go for a little while. I could spend at least 20 minutes looking at this thing going, what is he doing? Or are they just stupid? The answer is probably going to be that they're just stupid, but you never know until you look. I do sort of want to get highways across Roman territory. I'm going to get highways in Ancona and Retium. Uh, we won't worry about anywhere south of Corfinium. We don't really need to, I don't think. And we'll grab some... Ooh, we'll grab a shipwright, I think, after we've grabbed our highways. And you can't get any. You're all good. Okay. I might uh, begin building highways along our Illyrian territory as well, just to make sure that we've got a, uh, a fast road that we can go through. I like to build one major highway. It's sort of like, because they're colored a little bit differently, it sort of designates which way is the fastest to get to your destination, wherever it is that you need to go. So, with that in mind... Uh, we'll construct it probably along from Sparta, up through Corinth, past Athens, through Larissa, Antigonia, maybe Skodra. Actually, yeah, definitely Skodra. Skodra's got a nice bigger uh, area. And then through Dalmatia, Sagessica, and Aquilia. Down through Pavatium, Patavium, I know, Patavium, it's not Pavatium, Patavium. Um, Bononia. Eretium, Ancona, blah de blah blah. And then we'll do the same thing after we've taken over um, this area of Carthage's territories. We will conquer Tunis. We will. In fact, I think in Crusader Kings 2 we'll be conquering Tunis as well. At, um, at time of recording this, I'm just about to start recording that. Well, after I've finished pottering about with this. And I believe we're preparing to rebuild the Roman Empire. So that should be interesting. Although, by the time of uploading, this might actually have gone out after that one, so... Time paradoxes! Anyway, I shall see you guys next time, and until then, this is Grey Hunter saying thank you for watching, and toodaloo!